I'm Lindale, a district veterinarian with local land services. I'd like to share some information with you on bovine ephemeral fever in cattle. The virus causing the disease has arrived on the coast in the last couple of days and is starting to affect cattle which have not previously been exposed to the virus. I'm encouraging everyone to step up the daily checks of their herd to monitor and provide support to any infected cattle that you might have. I've been fielding calls from producers, so I thought it's a good time to reconfirm the clinical signs in cattle in this clip, and in the next segment, outline how to treat affected cattle on your farm. So firstly, what is three-day sickness and how is it spread? The virus causing three-day sickness is called bovine ephemeral fever, and it's spread by mosquitoes. It's a virus, and the mosquitoes carry the virus southwards from Queensland. It frequently occurs on the mid coast in late summer to autumn, so we're on track with our normal seasonal distribution at the moment. Bearing in mind though that virus distribution has been quite minimal over the last couple of years of drought, and so we are expected to, expecting to see a few more cases this year, as our herd generally doesn't have the immunity they normally carry. Animals over three years most likely have a solid immunity, but animals are born after 2017, so three years and younger, uh, are likely to be exposed to the virus and any cattle that have been introduced to the coast from inland Australia also um, are likely to be exposed, exposed to the virus. It's commonly called three-day sickness because that's generally what it is. It's a, a mild transient illness that resolves after about three days. But sometimes the virus can be more severe, so it's worthwhile ensuring you're familiar with signs of infection. But as always, seek the assistance of your private vet to ensure that cases that you may have in your property are actually a three-day illness and it's not another illness or injury masquerading as three-day sickness. So what are the clinical signs of three days sickness in cattle? The virus causes uh, quite a high fever of 40 to 41 degrees and quite intense inflammation in the animal's body. So the cattle are, are sick and sore, um, they may appear lame, uh, actually the lameness is, can, be, can appear quite significant, uh, sometimes you might start to wonder whether they've actually uh, fractured something. Uh, the other clinical signs are that um, often they drool saliva and this is because the virus itself uh, can paralyse the pharynx so they have difficulty in swallowing. Due to the high fever they might also be standing in dams trying to cool themselves down. Sometimes they have muscle tremors or muscle fasciculations and they can actually become recumbent due to the inflammation in their muscles and their joints. Uh, so it's important to that's why it is important to uh, monitor your herd daily to check for any cattle that may become recumbent or have become recumbent. Uh, the bulls might actually suffer a temporary infertility from the effects of the uh, uh, fever and a small percentage of pregnant cows uh, might abort. It is just a small percentage, a couple of percent, but it has been reported. Um, you might find that in your herd that the virus affects mature heavy cattle with a larger body weight more uh, significantly than it affects young cattle. So bulls, pregnant cows and finished stock uh, generally are affected more significantly than younger light cattle. For the younger cattle it most likely is just a transient mild illness. It is worthwhile being aware that um, in a very, very small percentage of cases, less than 1%, the virus actually can enter the nervous system of cattle. And so these are the animals that are laterally recumbent and actually have trouble regaining um, their footing. And uh, sometimes those animals may have to be euthanized. So it's worthwhile monitoring the, um, the effect of the virus in your herd, being prepared to provide treatment and speaking to your private veterinarian about any cases that you're concerned about. It is important sometimes not to self-diagnose because there can be other illnesses that can mimic the effects of three-day sickness. So have a chat to your private veterinarian. I've been asked by producers if they find a case of three-day sickness in their herd should they expect their whole herd then to come down with the disease? And the answer is it depends. It depends on a number of factors. First up, any animals or any cattle that have received uh, vaccination against three days sickness should have a protective immunity against the full effects of the virus. The second factor to consider is um, the herd structure or the age of animals in your herd. Any cattle that um, uh, three years of age or older, most likely if they were born on the coast, have been um, uh, infected by the virus before and should have solid immunity. So that's 
that's left us with cattle that are three years of age or younger, those animals certainly could be exposed um, to the effects of the virus. The other class of cattle that um, uh, could have significant effects from the virus are if you've introduced any cattle to the coast um, since 2017, uh, if they're not vaccinated, well, they certainly could be exposed to the effects of the virus. So we certainly need to be closely monitoring those cattle for any signs of illness. The other factor to consider is uh, whether you're providing your herd with any uh, insect protection from biting insects. So we know that uh, buffalo fly is certainly causing some issues on the coast at the moment and many producers are, are treating their herds against the, um, the, the buffalo fly. So this might be um, backline rubbers which uh, deposit the uh, uh, insect treatment protection along, along the coat of the cattle or uh, porons for um, insects as well. So that can actually reduce the um, ability of the mosquitoes to um, bite and infect the virus. So that's a number of factors that um, can affect how three-day sickness may manifest in your herd.